This medical report for Lawrence Hecker, obtained by WGSU Investigates, is dated July of this year. The document describes frequent falls and confusion, but the records also state, while in a long-term care facility, no episodes of confusion, no hallucinations, no trouble sleeping, no loss of appetite. The report also states Hecker reports some forgetfulness due to old age. MRI reviewed images and reports are consistent with Alzheimer's and dementia. The report also shows an MRI of the brain, appearing to show volume loss. The records also show Hecker went through a mental examination and scored a 25 out of 30. It's good and bad in everybody. When we spoke with Hecker last year, he appeared to be able to understand us just fine. The alleged rape and kidnapping dates back to the 1970s. Nearly 50 years later, the retired priest, described by prosecutors as a serial child abuser, rapist, and a diagnosed pedophile, could learn this month if he will spend the rest of his life in prison or walk free. Aaron Abair alleges he was sexually abused by Hecker as a child. He has to be accountable for the actions he's done over the years. This man is a monster that preyed on young children, and he needs to be held accountable for his crimes. So take a look. Hecker's attorney, Eugene Redmond, says that Hecker suffers from dementia, which is a chronic deteriorating illness. He will have good and bad days, and this will absolutely negatively affect his ability to assist in his defense. While we understand the frustration of the victims as it relates to their day in court, these charges, in all fairness, should have been brought decades ago. We have reached out to D.A. Jason Williams. We're waiting to hear back. Stay with us on this developing story. Travers, back to you. Former Orleans Parish 911 call center director.